How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another video. So today I am hopefully going to be reassembling my Sansona Sequential. So if you didn't watch the last one, um, just got my 2J together, first outing, <laughs> even just exiting the pit. Um, I clipped the dogs and uh, we're in third gear. Um, go me. <laughs> it would have already been previously damaged to be honest, it's not that easy to kill them. Um, but Thankfully, uh, they were in sock with the um, Samsona supply in Australia, so I have a new third gear and a new slider. So what happened was I chipped, chipped the corner, and they've got, um, as you see, it's not square, they've got a bit of a uh, shape to them, so that locks it and holds it in gear and stops it being able to pull out um, that way there. You can see it angles in, that holds it so it can't just fall out of gear, um, but with them chipped off of the corners it can fall out of gear. So yeah, gonna, this has already been pulled apart, so I'm just going to take the bolts out now and clean everything and um, swap out the old guys for the new ones. Um, I'm also got told a wee tip you can do is, um, so you've got acceleration, deceleration, um, generally you will end up wearing out the acceleration side on your gear changes most likely um, so anyway if there's slight wear on one side uh, flip them so now you're going to run the brand new side or the good side on your acceleration and the average side on your decel uh, and hopefully get a little bit extra life out of your dogs so I'm going to do that on the um, so this is the 2-3 slider um, and there's a 1-4 one, one slider here so I'm going to flip the 1-4 slider while I've got the box apart. Right, so now the casing's apart again. I'm just going to clean this out as well because I'm sure there'll be some little bit of, as you can see, material, bit of debris. So I'll get the casing all clean. Um, and then I will disassemble this. So if you can see there, oh, there's a snap ring. And same thing under that needle bearing, there's a snap ring. Um, and then they just all slide out. So just be methodic, take it off, put it in line over there and then put it back the right way and it should be good. So I started pulling the gears off and uh, laying them out in order of how they went back on there so I know what order to put everything back together um, and one part I didn't record because I had to stop was uh, had to remove the selector rods so they sit in there there's no bolts or anything give it a wiggle and pull them out and then you can pull the selectors off the side so that now that I can pull the slider off so that's technically as far as I need to go so I only need to replace this and this um, to fix what I've damaged um, but I'm going to go further down to flip the slider just to get some extra life out of it. I've stripped it down as far as I'm going to now. Um, so this is the layout. I've got one stack and another stack. Everything that's come off, I've gone and flipped it directly like that. So when it goes back here, there it goes. Uh, so I've got everything in the right order. Uh, they are different size bearings, so they sort of only go in the right sort of spot as well. Um, so yeah, that's the top stack, and that's the bottom stack. This is as far as I'm taking it down. So I'm only taking it down so that I can get this dog here. And I'm going to flip it. That will give me a little extra life because you can see I've got a couple of chips 
there. Um, I probably should have, to be fair, just ordered another one of those. Um, but you know, I don't know. I actually don't have any excuse for that. I really sh probably should have ordered that. It's a bit worse than I thought it was. Um, but the gear itself, a few chippies, but yeah. I'm trying to convince myself that's mint, but it's not perfect. Um, this is the one I've replaced. So that's completely rounded off. There, 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 there there and the slider for it same thing rounded off on all of the dogs um, so that's why that one wasn't holding and the third um, see the slider's got a little bit of a little bit of tapping so this is fourth gear but hopefully we can just give her a wee flip and boom there we go that's flipped so now the slightly average side is um, on the decel and or facing first gear rather than fourth so yeah get a little bit extra life out of that but I'll probably order maybe a fourth gear and another slider at some point as preventative um, second gear looks pretty fucking good to be honest um, probably the best gear of the lot so yeah I might order a, a fourth and a slider knowing that at some point they might get a bit grumpy with me I don't use fourth to be fair, that often drifting, um, mostly third. So we'll see how we go. I also found something with a shifter as well, um, which I should be able to tighten that up. So that might have caused a bit of this damage as um, having the shifter a bit loose. But yeah, now time to put it all back together, give it a good clean, and um, go racing. Now I hope I'm right here, so I was just going to flip the dog on the first gear, first fourth gear, to get a bit of extra life out of it. And obviously I've got my new one here for third, which is going to replace this. So this is worn on one side, as you can see, quite badly. This side is pretty mint, I'd have thought. Reverse gear only uses one dog, and that's reverse, and it's fucking mint. So, thinking it's got a bit of wear on both sides, to be honest. Thinking, fuck that one off, see if it can get repaired. So, that was my one four, that was my one. It was in reverse so that's now actually quite mint so my 1-4 is now mint my 3-2 is brand new my old 3-2 which is okay on one side um, shit on another I'll put the good side facing reverse and then I should have all good sliders I think that's a pretty uh, Good solution. Oh, fuck, the more I look at that, the more I should have, the more I should have replaced that. I'll stop looking at it. I'm pretty confident my time lapse cut out, unfortunately. Um, but here it is. It's all assembled again. Uh, everything just sort of went back on the same way it came off checking that all the gears are sort of meshed up in the right area which they are dogs are all in that's the reverse gear one so I've got this one here which is rounded off completely 
that was the fucked one for third gear but second gear side was mint so that's now going to be hitting reverse that was my reverse one which was fucking mint so that's now my 1-4 and then that's my brand new one so basically my forward gears have got all brand new sliders on and I guess the only thing that's going to give me grief next it's probably fourth gear so I'll probably keep that in mind to maybe potentially order one and another slider just in case um, before it happens because to be honest it's actually um, I say this before I've got it together properly but uh, somewhat easy to service I guess that's the beauty of a race transmission so yeah circlips circlips um, these clips are back in everything is in the right spot I'm going to put the shifting mechanism back in which I'll put my phone down because I need two hands since I messed up some of my rear assembly I thought I might as well try and do an easy part outside of hyperlapse so I say easy part I've never done this before so it's probably not going to be that easy but these rods up Yep, shifters are on, and then when it's all lined up, these rods should just slide home. Perfect timing for the compressor. Yep. So what I was mucking around with there is, this is how, if you don't know how a sequential works, so this barrel, when you pull the lever, it turns the barrel and pins drive these shifters so as you can see there's a ramp there so when you pull it a certain way that'll pull that down otherwise it spins straight the whole time which means basically it's not selecting uh, reverse this one up here so that'll be when it's in gear and all the other pulls it's down there um, and up here as well you got your dips because you got two gears there so yeah that barrel turns and it turns moves that up and down with those pins and the dogs go in and out and that's how you select gears with sequential so yeah what I was mucking around with uh, I had to get because I was trying to push it together but I couldn't when that was not in place so I had to get that lined up and that lined up so they're all in their grooves and pushed nicely onto the stack and theoretically they should be lined up which they are and they are now pushed back in by hand so that is it the gearbox reassembled time to chuck the casing back on now I won't lie to you though just in case someone was watching in detail either that plate around the wrong way the bearings are the same size and you can get it around the wrong way uh, I noticed because I could not get this over the stack because that's offset and so that was hanging out over there further than it should so it, it doesn't let you put it together wrong so there we go all the dogs everything's all lined up in neutral time to slip the case on hopefully just slip the case on yep definitely definitely neutral drop gears in there yep Let's go. Oh, why are you being a prick? Oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> now the mistake. I put the um, the drain bung back in, and that kind of sticks through. So let's see. <laughs> 